I think that my decision to give up YouTube completely was a very poor decision. Yeah. So to make a long story short, I went back to work full time for a few months. I stopped making YouTube videos. Um, I knew I needed a new hobby. I started getting into house plants. I'm going to show you some of my plants eventually. I am obsessed with house plants. It's a sin. Um, but I got into plants and that, and I was just bored. Like, I just need this. I just need something like this. I didn't realize how much I needed it until I gave it up, but um, you guys are probably sick and tired of me talking about my uh, personal life and that, so I am going to talk about my hair a little bit. I cut my hair short four months ago. It looked like this. Mommy. Yeah. Um, it was an amazing haircut, absolutely loved it, can't do the upkeep. So with a haircut like that, for how fast my hair grows, I would need to be going to get trims like every five weeks and that is just not me, I'm just never going to do it. I'm that person that got fake eyelashes once and then let them all fall out and never got them done again. I just, again, I just can't deal with the upkeep and the constantly spending money on getting my hair cut or getting my eyelashes done and stuff like that. So uh, I am letting my hair grow a little bit. It looks like it didn't grow that much, but it's because I've been trimming it at home. Because of the way my hair curls, I can really cut my hair myself um, unless I'm trying to shape it. But I can give myself little trims and stuff and it doesn't look too bad. So that's what I've been doing. So here's my hair. Um, Curly Penny or Penny Tovar just cut her hair short and her hair inspiration pictures was the same. Uh, she's a model and a designer, this Carla Duress, I think her name is, or Duress, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Um, I'm lucky I know how to say my own name, but um, she was the same inspiration. So I was very flattered because Penny's like right young and hip and that, and she wanted the same haircut I got, so that just made me feel stylish or something. But anyway, um, here's my hair now. What happened with my hair is my hair is a lot thicker than their hair, so the haircut didn't really translate to look the exact same as the picture, and that's what happens if you try to get your hair cut to match a picture and a person has a different hair type than you, or the person in the picture has a different hair type than you. It's not going to be the exact same. And I wanted to get my hair cut shorter than those pictures. So, um, but this is what it looks like growing out. And I do have some bobby pins in it. So this is how I wear my hair every day. I did not like style my hair fancy for this video. This is what my hair looks like when it air dries. But the shape of my haircut is more round. So if I take this like, I just have like a little claw clip there and one here. And I think I have a couple bobby pins. If I take this out, um, this is what my hair looks like. It looks like an asymmetrical haircut, but it's not. It's just that I part my hair on one side and I keep this kind of tight and I keep the bulk of my hair on this side. And if I was getting dressed up, I would wear my hair with a little bit more volume and a little more round and I do like that or I put some of my bangs in the front or something, but for every single day, I like it short and I like it kind of pulled back um, on the sides. And I'm just noticing right now as I'm making this video that this is starting to get really long. So you guys probably remember, even when I had long hair, I wore my hair like kind of in front of my face like that. I'm trying to get away from it. Um, but this is just kind of the way my hair falls. And like, look at this curl. Like that's amazing, but it just flops in front of my face. So I have been pinning my hair a little bit and like taking a bobby pin and pinning parts of my hair um, just to keep it off my face. And this is kind of where, how I wear my hair. Now in a photograph or on camera, I don't find it looks as good as long hair does. And so when I go to edit this video, <laughs> it's going to be a little bit discouraging, but I love it. Um, I love having short hair. I find it super easy to style and I think it suits me and I just find it looks a little bit more done up even when it's not. Uh, and so I do like it, but I'm probably going to grow my hair long again just because that's just who I am. <laughs> cut it short, grow it long, cut it short. I cut my hair short like every three years um, and then grow it out. So I'm, I may grow my hair out. I don't know. What do you guys think? Here is the back and I have no idea what it looks like, um, but I'm going to show you. 
No idea. I guess my big question, because I'm having a hard time making a decision, is do I continue to trim my hair and keep it this length, or do I let my hair grow long again? Um, I feel like I change my mind every single day, and so uh, if you guys could just let me know what you think in the comment section below, that would be awesome. Um, if you want to see my actual styling routine and see what products I'm using now, uh, I am going to make that video next week. I'll probably be posting it by the end of the week next week. And that will bring us up to the end of August. And then in September, uh, Wilson goes back to school and Jeff will be going back to work. So I will have a day or two during the week uh, when I can make YouTube videos. So I would like to start making regular videos again. They aren't all going to be about hair. I would say the majority will be about hair, but I may, you know, do a vlog or I may make a video about my house plants because for the first time in my entire life, I have a bunch of beautiful tropical plants that are thriving. Like I've been really like looking stuff up online and I joined a, a plant group um, and I've been really trying to take good care of them and keep them alive. And some of them are going to be massive. So I'm really loving uh, how they look in my home and just like, I don't know, they just give me energy or something. I just, I just love them. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up. If you're glad that I'm back, give this video a thumbs up. If you're sick of me, give it a thumbs down. Uh, subscribe to my channel and I will see you very soon, hopefully next week, in my new hairstyling routine video. Bye. We grew green beans and tomatoes and I don't have time to show you guys all that stuff in this video, but look at these pumpkins. So this is our first year growing pumpkins from seeds. There's just a couple small ones there. Oh no. What color is that? Uh, pink. No, it's not pink. That's purple. No, not purple. Is it orange? Oh. Orange. Orange. <laughs> so this is how big this one is so far. Look, we got some tomatoes in there. Yuck. Just the best.